to the Environmental Protection Agency. I'll be joined uh, in uh, a matter of minutes uh, uh, with uh, Senator Rand Paul. Uh, he's been leading a fight on the out-of-control EPA. Senator Paul, in fact, was the first to tell me about the couple you're about to, uh, to meet, Mike and Chantel Sackett, and their Supreme Court case against the EPA is the focus tonight. The Sacketts were in the process of building their dream home in northern Idaho when the EPA summarily shut them down, even though they had all of the requisite permits. They claimed their property was wetlands, even though it's 500 feet from the nearest lake. Now the Sacketts are taking their case all the way to the Supreme Court. Mike and Chantel Sackett, along with their attorney, Damian Schiff, joining us from Capitol Hill, where they've been taking part in a forum led by Senator Rand Paul, uh, and they were joined with other families who've been targeted by the EPA. First of all, uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, and Mike Chantel, let me ask you, uh, are you atten attended that uh, forum today. Uh, do you think it was productive? Do you think it's uh, uh, the basis for change? Uh, we definitely believe it is, Lou. It was a great forum. There was, uh, there was a, lot of, a lot of good stories told, and there was uh, a good showing by the Congress and the Senators. It, was, it went really well. Uh, your, your delegation from the state of Idaho was there, Chantel, Mike. Uh, these are folks that uh, are actively engaged now in supporting you in your battle against the EPA. Is that correct? That's correct. It was nice. We had uh, uh, Congressman Labrador, Senator Risch, and Senator uh, Crapo there. And Congressman Labrador is really stepping up. I know I talked with Senator Crapo. Uh, he's uh, doing everything his office can do now. Uh, by the way, Senator Jim DeMint uh, called both of you uh, patriots for taking on the EPA. That had to feel pretty good. Yeah, yeah that did. didn't expect that. Yeah. Uh, and, and let me turn to you, Damien. Uh, you have found a document. Uh, as a result of the uh, friend of the court brief filed by the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, and, and this is, and, and, and I've been told that this is a quote from the document you found, that the EPA actually trains its personnel to make the terms of unilateral orders like the one given to the Sacketts. Ugly, and uh, this is a quote, ugly, onerous, and tough, very unpleasant, in order to coerce settlements and that EPA seeks to threaten recipients with games of Russian roulette, whatever that means, so as to further coerce their entry into voluntary decrees. Damien, we're talking about the American government here, aren't we? It sounds almost like a Soviet-era government, Lou. We were absolutely flabbergasted when we read these documents, which you weren't aware of before the Chamber of Commerce submitted their brief last week in our support, but we're very thankful that we now have this evidence before the court to show that this is not just simply a case of the Sacketts being beaten up. This is a problem with the agency across the board treating American citizens as if they were not American citizens, as if they were just slaves. And it's just atrocious. It's atrocious, and, and the Sackett story is compelling and, and heartbreaking as it is. Uh, there are other stories in that forum today uh, with more abuse by government agents, agencies, including um, and particularly the EPA, right? No, that's absolutely right. There were a number of families there who just told heartbreaking stories of their lives being beaten up by EPA. One family talked about how their father, who is now dying actually, was put in jail for two years for allegedly filling a wetland which he said was not a wetland at all. It's just atrocious. It makes one really angry. And let's hope that we can have some improvement. I'm happy to say that at the end of the hearing, Senator Paul said that he is planning on submitting legislation that will try and rein in EPA's authority under the Clean Water Act. We're going to take that up with uh, Senator Paul here in just a matter of moments. Uh, Mike and Chantel, I've got to ask how you're feeling, how the battle is going. I, I know, uh, you know, uh, Senator Domingue called you patriots. Uh, you know, and, uh, you're absolute heroes for putting up with what you have and, uh, and, and working so hard and courageously to prevail against uh, what is clearly uh, one of the most un-American uh, uh, agencies in its actions, in your case, that I could even imagine happening. How, how are you feeling? Well, Lou, um, we feel actually pretty um, grateful that uh, Senator Rand Paul invited us to come talk. Um, hearing some of the stories that we heard today that were heartbreaking um, um, makes us 
feel like we're part of a group that is able to fight this with Senator Rand Paul's help. Well, uh, you know, that's, that's wonderful. And uh, you're, you're also part of a larger group. We're called citizens, and it's well past time that citizens made certain that uh, their government was operating in support of citizens uh, rather than some, uh, some abstraction or some other interest that is unrecognizable to most of us. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Sackett, thank you so much for being with us. Mr. Ship, thank you. And uh, thank you. Again, thank you. we continue to appreciate your help. And